exactly what's wrong. And if you're Marco Rubio and you just admit that you can't hack it in the Senate. That you ran for an office, you asked people to vote for you, and you hate it. And you hated it like a year in. Yeah. Well, and you're just not showing up to vote. So you well, just ran to yes. the president. You know, there's a famous parallel here. Well, it's, for, it's the Barack Obama parallel. Dude, he, another, man, another man who hated the Senate his, the moment he arrived. His political Perfect. profile, as far as it pertains to you know, running and, and operating in the state and being big man on campus, big, you know, big fish in a little pond. Right. And then he gets up to Washington and he can't handle it. And immediately, Harry Reid comes to Barack Obama and says, you hate this place. Why don't you just run for president and get out of here? <laughs> Which is what he said. I, yeah. And that's what... You're jumping the gun on my newscast. And that's what Marco's that doing, though. Fair. It's stunning. It should, should be, be fair, fair to both of them. You'd probably be said it, too, if you were there. I mean, it's pretty horrible. But I don't, th I I don't think, think so. so. No? You'd like the Senate? Well, I'm not saying that I would like it any more than the next person, mm -hmm. but if you were there... What I found in the House, it's which I know Howard found in the go uh, governorship, it is an honor. And when I look back and look back at the things that I love the most, it wasn't the first balanced budget in a generation. It wasn't the welfare war reform. It wasn't all the battles. I still have people coming up to me on planes flying back to my district saying, my dad was about to lose his farm because the IRS kept you know this four-year investigation you picked up the phone and said either arrest him or get the hell off of his farm and you know working with these agencies and and you actually Helping people you help people you get things done if it's not just about being a young man in a hurry well, I didn't have to call the IRS. Well, no, no, but you know what I'm saying, and I'm not picking on the IRS right. either. It could have been a Social Security check, or it, or it could have been a VA problem, but you could pick up the phone, and I always found, for me at least, bureaucrats were pretty responsive. They were like, okay, we'll look into it. Sorry, this investigation, you know, just not to pick on the IRS. It has gone on too long. We'll look at it and see what the caseworker is doing, and we'll have an answer in a week. That's really rewarding stuff. So yeah, I just, no, I, it's, it's, when I hear people saying, oh, it sucks because, you know, I can't be king of the world with a hundred other kings of the world, that just, I, I roll my eyes and goes, he doesn't really even know how the even Senate run. works. It's a little unusual to complain about the Senate while you're running for president. That is an unusual. In thing your first term. Do. Yeah, in your first term. Because what, has he been a senator for five years now? Yeah, yeah and he's been yeah. running for four, just like so, Barack Obama was. Uh,